right, and finally, let's talk about the BK Precision power supplies. Now, these are pretty, honestly, pretty straightforward. They, again, they kind of look intimidating because they have all these features, but you can ignore pretty much all of these. Um, power buttons here, um, you have your negative. This is an earth referenced ground. So what this does is, is essentially this jack right here goes all the way through the machine, through the outlet, or through the cord into the outlet down here into the ground port. So there's just a dead short between here and the ground port here. So unless you're working with a specific type of circuit, um, you don't really need to worry about that. It's not gonna have any effect on your circuit. And so you have the negative and the positive. Those are the ones you wanna care about. So turn it on the power button here, press that in. It may or may not beep. So this one has started up and it's not running yet. You can see the off sign right here. So it's not putting any voltage out. Um, to turn it on and off, there's the button down here. You just press it, and when it turns on, you'll see the symbol up here turn on for CV. That means constant voltage. Um, that means that, in this case, there's no load on the supply, so it's always going to be constant voltage. But um, a general rule of thumb, if you don't see the off sign, that means the power supply is on. But if you see the off sign turn on, then there's no voltage that's going to come out of here. So let's change the voltage. Uh, right now, it's set to 12 volts at half an amp. So up here, you have the two buttons you really want to care about. It's the V-set and the I-set. V-set sets voltage, I-set sets current. So press V-set, and you'll see volt appear, and this will start flashing. You can either use the up and down arrow keys, which will take forever, or you can type in the keypad, I want 5 volts, for example, and then press Enter. And that will lock into the computer in here that you want a 5-volt signal, and at this point, it's still at a quarter amp or a half amp. So we can also change the, the current, say, press I set, and let's say one amp, and enter. So now it's set to five volts at one amp. We can press on, and it'll turn on. There's nothing attached to it, but believe me, it's on. But more likely, you're probably going to be using this to as a 12 volt supply. So again, press V set when it's off. Type in 12. Press enter. And you can change the current if you want. You can set it to 0.5, for example, 0 0.5 half amp. Press enter. So now it's set to 12 volts at half an amp. And unlike the function generator, when you turn this off, and turn it back on, it will remember the last setting. So it's still at 12 volts at half an amp. But one other thing about this to keep in mind is the V set and I set, specifically when it comes to constant voltage and constant current. And those are a little bit misleading terms. Um, that does not mean that it will only put out a set number of volts. For example, this is set to five volts at half an amp. So 12 volts, half an amp. That does not mean it will only put out 12 volts and half an amp. All that means is that it will not go above 12 volts and will not go above half an amp. It can go anywhere below that, but it doesn't like, exceed those numbers. So if I turn this on, so you can see on the meter, I have 12 volts on DC right now. About 12 volts on the output. So now I've, I've switched it up a little bit. I've taken the meter and plugged it into the current measurement on the current setting for DC. And I have the two, the two probes still stuck in here. So as a circuit, this is effectively a, almost a dead short between positive and negative. But we've told this, we only want it to put out no more than half an amp. So what'll happen is it will go up to half an amp. I turn it on. So on the meter is half an amp. But because it's not allowed to put out any more current than that, the voltage has to also drop. So it's now putting out 0 0.15 volts. So when they say constant voltage, that only means that it's not going to go above 12 volts. If I take this out, it goes back up to 12 volts. And remember, safety first, always take the probe out of the current measurement, plug it back into the volt measurement when you're done with it.